Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you game 8 from World Chess Championship 2013. In this game, Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Anand played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Rui Lopez or Spanish opening, knight to f6, bell in defense. Carlsen castled kingside, knight takes on e4. And Carlsen played rook to e1, attacking the knight. In game 4, we had d4 instead. Then knight to d6, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, pawn takes pawn on e5, knight to f5. Queens were exchanged and the game ended in a draw. In this game we have rook to e1. Knight to d6, knight takes on e5, there is no time to capture the bishop on b5 because of knight takes on c6, discovered check, winning the queen. Anand played bishop to e7, blocking the rook and preparing to castle. Bishop to f1, saving the bishop. Knight takes knight, rook takes knight, Anand castled kingside d4. Who is better? White or black? Perhaps white is slightly better. Black knight on d6 is preventing black from pushing d pawn. Anand played bishop to f6. Rook to e1. Rook to e8. Fighting for the open file c3, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, it is black to move. Anand played knight to e8 in order to push d pawn. Let's take it back. This same position was reached in the game Steinitz and Zuckertot in World Championship in 1886. Zuckertot played knight to f5 and even won the game as black. Perhaps both players know this game very well. So an choice was knight to e8. Carlsen played bishop to f4. d5. Bishop to d3, targeting the pawn on h7, g6, making also room for the knight to come to g7, knight to d2, knight to g7, queen to e2 preparing rook to e1, c6, rook to e1, bishop to f5, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, knight to f3, Knight to g7, bishop to e5, more exchanges of the pieces. Knight to e6, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop. Knight to e5, Anand is including his rook in the game, rook to e8. Knight to g4, attacking the queen. It is black to move. How should black continue? What would you do? Would you play queen to g5, staying closer to white king, or queen to d8, which looks like a passive move? Your choice. Make a move. Anand played queen to d8. What was your choice? Is queen to g5 good? Queen to g5 is actually losing the game because of f4, attacking the queen. And if queen goes to h4, g3, queen must go to d8, and now queen to e5 is winning. 
The threat knight to f6 is too strong. In our game we have queen to d8, queen to e5. Is this the same position as the other one? It's not, because in the other variation the pawn was on f4. Knight to g7. Now knight to f6 doesn't work, does it? Because of? Can you see why this doesn't work? Because queen takes on f6. And if queen takes queen, check mate. Okay. How should y continue then? This is the only move. Then knight takes queen. Rook takes knight, check. Queen takes rook. Check, forking the king and the queen. King to f8. Knight takes queen. King takes knight. Totally equal. f4. f5. King to f2. b5. b4. King to f7. h3. h6 h4, h5, and the draw was agreed. Magnus Carlsen wanted a draw, and he got it. That brings him closer to the title. How about Anand? Some people are saying that he lost his confidence. What do you think? What do you think of this match? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.